What's going on everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com recapping the news and before I get into things like always greatly appreciate a thumbs up and if you're new here make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. Now for this video we're going to go over all of the 2024 Nike and Air Jordan releases that just leaked. As well, there's a few releases that have been pushed back, so I'm going to talk about that in this video, but in the following video, I'll get back on track to the regular news that has leaked, which will be on Thursday. But most of this video is from Jordan Brand, and there's a handful of things from Nike. And now, without wasting too much more of your time, let's jump into the news. Who remembers the Nike clog posit? The shoe originally released back in the early 2000s, shortly after the Nike Air Flight Posit dropped in 1999. Basically, it was a low top version of that shoe, and it acts as a clog or a sandal. In 2014, Nike brought the shoes back, but this time they're known as the Solo Slide. Well, in 2024, 10 years after the last retro, they're going to return again, this time in collaboration with Supreme. So typically Supreme drops multiple colorways of a shoe whenever they get a collaboration. This one, I only have one colorway. However, it's possible that more could come and this pair will feature a white, white and black color combination. Now, the image you're looking at, if you didn't know, it's just a mock-up. I don't know how they're going to look. However, you can expect Supreme branding throughout. Now, as for a release date, currently we don't have one. However, they are expected to debut spring 2024 and no retail price as of yet. A lot of people seem to be excited about the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Anthracite returning during holiday 2023. However, I do have an update for you guys. And from my sources, the shoes have actually been pushed and they will now debut spring 2024. So these along with the eggplants will debut during spring 2024. And unfortunately, there's a shoe that has been delayed because of this. I think it has to do with the factory still being behind. But I'll get to that shoe in a moment. And the retail price for this pair is $240. Last step from Nike, I have good news and bad news. The good news is that I do have a colorway and a style code for the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 Galaxy, which in the eyes of many confirms that a release is coming. However, initially they were expected to debut during spring 2024, but according to my source, they have been delayed and now they're going to drop during summer 2024. So that's gonna be a difference between three and four months, give or take. I know some people might be upset about the news. However, I'm just looking at the positive side, at least they're coming. And for those that want to know, the official colorway on this pair is going to be Obsidian, Black, and Anthracite. So like I mentioned, summer 2024 is when they're expected to drop. And currently I don't have a retail price. However, I did ask my source about an hour ago. And if he's able to get back to me in time before I'm done editing the video, then I'll put a title somewhere right about now to let you guys know. This has been a crazy, crazy weekend starting with Friday. I knew a bunch of leaks were coming. In fact, I actually knew about these leaks weeks and weeks ago. Now, what I usually do is I don't like to overwhelm people. I don't like to just drop all the information I have at once. I like to spread it out. But I think when the next quarter comes around, I'm just going to drop it all at once, see how that goes. But if you haven't noticed by now, we are on to Jordan brand. And this isn't all, but this is a good amount of spring 2024 releases from Jordan brand. Now, there's going to be some potential collaborations. There's also some grade school sizing that's left out as well as other celebratory releases. Now, in the next video, I plan on leaking more of those. But for this one, I'm going to just cover all the heavy hitters that was just leaked, because there's a lot of them. Now, I'm not going to go in any particular order. I'll give you all the information I have. And for the most part, all of these are just mock-ups. Unfortunately, there wasn't any images showed. Actually, I take that back. I did see some images of a few including samples, but that was in a previous video I talked about them. It won't be in this one, with the exception of one pair. So first up, we have the Air Jordan 2 Cell. This is a women's exclusive release. As far as extended sizing, I don't have that information just yet, but this pair will feature a Cell, coconut milk, and black color combination. 
expected to launch spring 2024 and the retail price will be 175. Also, I forgot to mention all of this information is in collaboration with Z Sneakerhead Z. So big shout out to him. And next up, we have another women's exclusive. This is the Air Jordan 14 Low Mineral Till. Now, in my opinion, I wish they looked like this. It has a Seattle Mariners like vibe to them. And the shoes will feature a mineral till, metallic silver, and black color combination. Unfortunately, I don't know if they're going to be available in extended women's sizing. However, I don't believe they will be. Typically, when a 14 low drops or a 14 in women's sizing, they don't go into extended women's sizing because, unfortunately, a lot of people aren't huge fans of this model, which is crazy in my opinion. This is my favorite model of all time. Whatever they look like, I'm picking them up just because I buy every 14, but... Again, expected to release spring 2024, and the retail price will be 180 When I was told about this Air Jordan 14, I was told that it would come in a cool gray theme. However, that is not the specific colorway. The specific colorway is flint gray, stealth, and white. Again, this is just a mock-up. We don't know how they're actually going to look. But for me, if they drop like this, 100% cop. Again, dropping spring 2024, and the retail price will be 210 Next up, we have the Air Jordan 13 Yellow Ochre. Now, this isn't confirmed, but there's a possibility that this pair is inspired by the Tor Yellow Air Jordan 4. Instead of using Tor Yellow, the shoes feature Yellow Ochre, but another interesting element is the color description. So, specifically, the color description is White, Yellow Ochre, Dark Blue Gray, and Black. Dark Blue Gray was used on the Air Jordan 4 Tor Yellow, so that's kind of why the mock-up looks like this with some speckled detailing. Now, I hope this is a sign to come that the Air Jordan 4 Tour Yellow will return, but that isn't confirmed. And for now, these are expected to drop spring 2024, and the retail price will be 200 Women will have a fair share of releases for spring 2024. One of those pairs is the Air Jordan 1 High OG Dusted Clay. Now, this shoe was labeled an SP, which stands for Special Projects. So more than likely, they'll have some sort of unique material used, but the actual color blocking and how they're going to be constructed has yet to be announced. So this shoe features a dusted clay, cacao wow, and burnt sunrise color combination. Unfortunately, we don't know the retail price as of yet. I'm hoping it's 180, but since it's an SP, it's possible it could go up to at least 200. And once again, they're expected to drop spring 2024. It seems like a good amount of people are hyped for this shoe. It's the Air Jordan 5 Lucky Green. Now, I know a lot of people are going to be let down by this. This is a women's exclusive release. No offense to the ladies out there. In my opinion, it's just another pair that could have released for both men and women, in my opinion. Now, recently, we saw the Lucky Green Air Jordan 3 debut, so this will be a follow-up release. We also saw the Air Jordan 1 High OG Lucky Green drop, but that dropped in men's sizing. And again, this is just a mock-up. We don't have confirmation on the color blocking just yet, but they will feature a white, lucky green, black, and ice blue color combination. Again, dropping spring 2024, and the retail price will be 200 Again, this is another mock-up. This is the Air Jordan 4 Women's Cell. So the colorway kind of reminds me of the off-white Air Jordan 4. Of course, they're not going to be them. This shoe features a cell, metallic gold, and black color combination. Well, not confirmed, they are expected to feature a Jumpman on the hill. And overall, if they drop like this, these are clean. I like them a lot. The metallic gold detailing is very nice. Currently, it isn't known that they'll be available in extended women's sizing, but expected to drop spring 2024, and the retail price will be 200 2024 will also have a couple pairs part of the craft series. One of those will be another Air Jordan 1 High OG. This one is known as Sea Glass. So the specific colorway is sea glass, pell ivory, and coconut milk. Again, the image you're looking at is just a mock-up. What actually releases will more than likely look different. Now, as for a release date, we don't have a specific one, but they're expected to debut spring 2024, and the retail price will be 180 As you guys know, I have a strong dislike for anything you call panda outside of the dunk low. Now, I gave the Air Jordan 1 mid some passes, as well as the Air Jordan 1 low, but I think I'm just being an old head, so I gotta get with the times. And here we have info on the upcoming Air Jordan 1 High OG Reverse Panda. 
Now, the color blocking is expected to be something like this, although not 100% confirmed, but the shoes will come just in a black, white, and white color combination. It's not a bad pair if they drop like this, honestly. I kind of like them. As long as the outsole isn't white, we're good. And again, expected to debut spring 2024, and the retail price will be 180 in my opinion, this shoe could have a lot of potential. It's the Air Jordan 1 High OG Metallic Gold. Now, this is another women's exclusive release. And the specific colorway is white, metallic gold, and gum light brown. So, more than likely, they're going to feature white throughout. They'll also feature metallic gold detailing. And then we'll have a gum rubber outsole. So, they could kind of be like the black and gold Air Jordan 1 that dropped in 2020. With some minor changes, of course. But for now, it's just speculation. And again, currently expected to debut spring 2024. And the retail price will be 180 Another pair that I think could be really dope is the Air Jordan 6 Yellow Ochre. Another pair featuring Yellow Ochre. Now again, this is just a mock-up. We don't know how it's going to look. So here it's shown with Carmine-like color blocking. I wouldn't be mad at this. But again, we just don't have the confirmation. So... The shoes will feature a white, yellow ochre, and black color combination. More than likely, they will have the Jumpman on the hill. I believe this marks three releases now using the shade of yellow. By the way, I'm going to have an update on the Air Jordan 1 High OG yellow ochre probably on Tuesday. Unfortunately, it won't be in the video. It will be in the next video. But yeah, just waiting to leak that. And currently, this pair is expected to release spring 2024, and the retail price will be 200 Another pair part of the Craft series releasing is the Air Jordan 3 Craft in Grey Mist. Again, this is just a mock-up. However, I would 100% buy if they look like this mock-up. I think this is super clean. And the official colorway is Ivory, Grey Mist, and Cream. For this pair, I wish I had more information. Unfortunately, I don't. Other than that, they're going to release Spring 2024. And the retail price is 210 Although this pair could be inspired by Georgetown... Not officially part of the Collegiate series, but we have the Air Jordan 3 White Navy. Now, the reason why we're calling them White Navy is because there's another Air Jordan 3 known as Midnight Navy, but the specific colorway is White, Midnight Navy, Black, and Cement Gray. So what we have with this mock-up is basically your White Cement Air Jordan 3, but instead of Black on the midsole, we have Midnight Navy, and instead of White on the three eyelets, we also have more Midnight Navy. It's not confirmed how they're going to look. I have a feeling that this pair will do well, depending, of course, on how they actually look. And for now, they are expected to debut spring 2024, and the retail price will be 200 Last but not least, we got to talk about the Air Jordan 17 Low Lightning. A couple months back, information broke that the Air Jordan 17 Low would return in 2024. Now, I do know of two colorways outside of this shoe. And those two colorways that I know of are not OG colorways. Now, I'm not saying that more won't release or even in mid-top form. It's just what I'm seeing right now. Once I get the okay on the other two colorways to leak, I definitely will. But I kind of have to be vague on that. But getting back to this shoe, for those that don't know, Michael Jordan wore this shoe during the 2002 NBA All-Star Game when he played for the Washington Wizards. In 2018, Soulfly released a reverse lightning pair which was limited to 2,300 pairs. And for 2024, it is confirmed that this colorway is returning. It's also labeled an SP, which means special projects. Now, in my opinion, I feel like these are going to be more on the limited side because realistically, every time they drop an Air Jordan 15, 16, or 17, which is not often, they sit. Also, there could be something with the build that it needs to be part of special projects. I'm not entirely sure on that, but I will say that I was fortunate enough to see a sample of the shoe, the 2024 pair. Now, what I will say is that they look nice. They look good. There's a few, I guess, minor changes, and unfortunately, I can't say just yet because realistically, I don't even think I'm supposed to see those images. But in my opinion, for fans of the model in the colorway, I don't think you'll be disappointed. Now, this shoe is expected to debut again during spring 2024, and the biggest drawback about them is the retail price. So, the retail price is 250 In my opinion, that's insane. 
Now, just as a heads up, the original Air Jordan 17 Low did not come with the briefcase. It came with a Jordan face box. So if you're thinking that maybe that $250 retail price also included the briefcase, that isn't going to be the case. And from what I saw, it looked like a regular Jordan box, but that could change since it's just a sample. But let me know if you plan on buying when they drop. For me, 100% pickup. I've been trying to track down a OG pair for some time that's dead stock without cracking. And I either can't find a pair that's dead stock without cracking or they want close to $1,000, which I'm not willing to pay. And that's going to do it for this video. Like always, greatly appreciate a thumbs up. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe by hitting the button below. Expect another video this week. I'm going to cover more of the news and more than likely we'll have more leaks in that video. So make sure to turn on the notification bell so you can be alerted when I drop that new video. Also, I know I need to respond to comments on the last one. It's just been really hectic with all these leaks. So again, I apologize for that. I'll be getting back on track this week. But for this one, let me know what you liked or disliked down below. As well, if you have any questions, leave that down below. Again, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfiles.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.